Imagine a world where cybercrime is as easy as ordering a pizza, where malicious software isn't just created, but served on a silver platter, ready for anyone to use. What happens when the barriers to enter the sinister world of hacking are demolished, making cyber weaponry accessible to the masses? This isn't a scene from a dystopian novel. It's the grim reality of malware as a service, mass. Here, the dark web flourishes, transforming every curious visitor into a potential cyber criminal. How safe are our digital footprints? Are we just a click away from becoming a hacker's next victim? Stay tuned to find out. The genesis of malware as a service is a tale of evolution, mirroring the advancements in technology. Initially, malware was the domain of the skilled few hackers who understood the intricate coding required to breach systems. But the cyber landscape changed. The emergence of mass signaled a new era where complex hacking tools became commodities traded in the shadows of the internet. This shift was propelled by the cloak of anonymity provided by the dark web and fueled by the untraceable nature of cryptocurrencies. As technology grew more sophisticated, so did the tools of cybercrime. The accessibility of high-speed internet and the proliferation of digital devices opened a Pandora's box of opportunities for cybercriminals. No longer confined to the fringes of the internet, malware began to take center stage, evolving into a service, a twisted form of customer service where efficiency and user-friendliness are prized. It was the perfect storm. Technological advancement, anonymity, and a ready market of nefarious clients. This evolution didn't just change the landscape, it altered the very fabric of cybercrime. The barriers that once kept amateurs out of this dark arena crumbled. Now, anyone with a bit of cryptocurrency could access sophisticated malware. It was no longer about who you knew or what you could code, it was about what you could buy. This shift democratized cybercrime, opening the floodgates to a wave of new hackers, each armed with tools that could cripple systems and steal sensitive data. In the shadowy world of mass, the players are as diverse as they are dangerous. At the pinnacle are the developers, the masterminds who craft the malware. These individuals are not your average programmers. They are artisans of the dark web, skilled in creating tools that can bypass security systems and exploit vulnerabilities. Next in the hierarchy are the vendors, the dark web merchants. These individuals manage the underground marketplaces where malware is bought and sold. They're the facilitators, the middlemen, who make it possible for the average Joe to access tools once reserved for the cyber elite. On the buyer's end are the customers, a motley crew ranging from curious novices to seasoned cyber criminals. These are the individuals who drive the market, their motives as varied as their backgrounds. Some seek financial gain, others political espionage, and still others indulge in cyber vandalism. But it's not just about the sellers and the buyers. There's a fourth group, often forgotten, but crucial to the mass ecosystem, the enablers. These are the hosting services, the cryptocurrency platforms, and the communication channels that facilitate the trade of malware. The malware menu is as varied as it is nefarious. It's a buffet of digital destruction, each item designed for a specific kind of cyber havoc. From keyloggers that stealthily steal passwords to ransomware that holds systems hostage, the range is alarming. Each tool is crafted for efficiency and ease of use, turning even the most novice user into a potential cyber threat. In this twisted marketplace, spyware is sold like a commonplace software, enabling users to secretly monitor victims. It's a tool of choice for those seeking to invade privacy or engage in corporate espionage. Then there are the bots, designed to create armies of zombie computers, capable of launching massive DDoS attacks that can cripple websites and networks. But perhaps the most chilling are the banking Trojans, malware specifically engineered to steal financial information. These tools can infiltrate banking systems, siphon funds, and wreak financial havoc. They represent a direct threat to our financial security, turning every online transaction into a potential risk. And let's not forget the ransomware, perhaps the most infamous item on the malware menu. It's a digital kidnapper, locking users out of their systems and demanding ransom for release. The impact of ransomware can be devastating, from crippling small businesses to paralyzing entire city administrations. The effects of mass ripple across our digital landscape, leaving a trail of destruction in its wake. For businesses, the threat is existential. Data breaches can lead to financial loss, legal repercussions, and irreparable damage to reputation. For individuals, the stakes are equally high. Identity theft, 
financial fraud, and a breach of privacy are just a few of the risks we face in this new era of cybercrime. In a world where malware as a service makes everyone vulnerable, it's vital to protect yourself. Oxygen IT is your defense against these digital threats, offering advanced solutions to prevent and recover from malware attacks. Don't risk your cybersecurity. Click the links below to learn how Oxygen IT can safeguard your digital space. Act now and stay one step ahead in this era of accessible cybercrime. But the impact of mass extends beyond individual or corporate losses. It threatens the very infrastructure of our society. Critical systems, from healthcare to utilities, are at risk of being paralyzed by cyber attacks. In the face of such a pervasive threat, our defense must be multifaceted. Awareness is the first step. Understanding the risks and the nature of these threats is crucial. Individuals and organizations must recognize the importance of cybersecurity and take proactive steps to protect their digital assets. On a practical level, this means investing in robust security measures. Regular software updates, strong antivirus programs, and effective firewalls are no longer optional, they're essential. For businesses, this also means investing in cybersecurity training for employees, as human error often remains the weakest link in security. Beyond these immediate measures, there's a need for a broader, more collective approach. Law enforcement agencies must collaborate across borders to tackle these cyber criminal networks. This requires not just technical expertise, but legal and diplomatic efforts to navigate the complex jurisdictional challenges of cybercrime. But perhaps the most crucial aspect is resilience. We must build systems that are not just secure, but resilient to attacks. This means having robust backup systems, effective disaster recovery plans, and the ability to rapidly respond to and recover from cyber incidents. As we navigate this digital age, the shadow of malware as a service looms large. It represents a paradigm shift in the world of cybercrime, one that challenges our traditional notions of security and defense. In this ever-evolving game of cat and mouse, we are all players, whether we choose to be or not. The question then becomes, how do we adapt to this new reality? How do we protect not just our digital assets, but our very way of life from the unseen threats that lurk in the shadows of the internet? Are we ready to face the consequences of a world where cybercrime is just a service away?